what's up youtube pj coming back with another video for you guys and today i'm gonna have a quick and easy hopefully quick and easy install for you guys i'm gonna be finishing up what i've already started you're probably wondering why i have my bumper off right now and it's because i started trying to fix my ac changing out the ac condenser and i took my bumper off because i thought i could get to it from the front but i didn't realize that it's back here so I'm about to get started with this before the rain starts. The sky looks pretty cloudy. Well, you probably can't tell, but it's supposed to rain today and I'm trying to get this done before the rain starts. All right, to start off where I left off last time, I took the bumper off and all you have to do to take the bumper off is there are some little clip me little tags or whatever in this thing you take off the little shroud or whatever it's called that's laying on top of there and then you have these two bolts right here and here that you're gonna need to use a, a deep socket on I think it's an 11 if I remember right and uh, just take those out and I believe and the bumper should come off after that but other than that, I had to take off this little, you know, styrofoam piece that goes across the front here. And that's basically all I've done. Oh yeah, and I already, as you can see right in here, it's pretty hot. Oh, let me see. And right here, I've already loosened this up and let most of the Freon out. Um, you're not really supposed to do that, but that's the only way I knew how to do it. And so... I did it and now my system is empty of Freon. This is what the inside of the bumper looks like that I was just telling you guys about. And now I'm about to jack the car up, get it on jack stand so I can empty out the radiator coolant and get started with removing that. All right, so I got the car jacked up and supported by jack stands, as you can see. Now it's time for me to start draining the coolant out of here. And let's see, I don't know if you can see this, but I believe this right here is what I'm gonna be undoing. You need a big Phillips screwdriver or either a big flathead like I'm gonna have. And oh my gosh, I'm just looking at this, it looks bad. But I'm gonna be changing it out soon. And I have a bucket for this to go in and I'm gonna undo this now and start draining the fluid out. Okay, so that was a total fail, but it's still dripping down there. So I'm gonna let it do what it's gotta do. And I'm about to start removing this reservoir and this one also. And so I'll free up a lot of room right here. Then I'm gonna have to undo this hose. And then I should have a lot more room to work with to be able to take off the radiator and the condenser. Now that I freed up some space by moving this, I didn't undo this one down here connected to this reservoir just because I didn't really feel like it to be honest. And this one, it still has fluid in it because this is for the supercharger in a cooler, I believe. And I'm just gonna leave that alone. It's able to move freely, well, kind of freely, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now. All right, the last two things I have to do is remove this upper radiator hose. And if you can see it down here, I believe is this one. It's the lower radiator hose. But well, let me show you from the bottom. It's right here, it connects to the thermostat. We have to remove that also. And then, and then there are two brackets holding the radiator in and it's this one and this one right here we have to undo those and then the radiator should be able to pull right on out All right, 
so now just to unplug the fan unplug the fan sensor and this one and now that these two fan sensors are unplugged you should just be able to pull it straight on up Ended up taking the fan off of the radiator just because I forgot that I zip tied this onto one of the hoses because that's what you're supposed to do in order to keep it out of the way from the fan. But uh, well, it's out now. And the next step for me to do is to undo these lines right here from the actual condenser, and then I can't really see anything else I'm supposed to be doing. So. I guess that's it and then I'll be able to replace it. I removed these two lines and it appears to still be stuck on there. So now I'm about to, there are two more bolts uh, right here and on the other side right here. So I'm about to move those and hopefully then it'll come out. So finally after a lot of tugging and whatnot, I got it out and hopefully this solves my problem I think that was the problem it looks like it was the problem hopefully it was the problem and now look at her all shiny and whatnot she's gonna look good sticking through that little grill right there anyways but now we're on a downhill and I gotta get this stuff assembled back again hopefully I remember how to but if not then I know I'm good at improvising but first things first is to get this thing out of this cardboard and assemble it as I took that one out Alright, so it started raining, which is a bummer, so I won't be recording for much longer, sorry about that. But just to let you know, I did go ahead and install everything back to how it was, and I really just went in the reverse steps of taking it off to replace it and put it back on. So, uh, but look, I got it installed. Yeah, my first, well, not really first, but one of my first just install videos. But now I'm gonna go and run to the store and get some more coolant because you guys have been asking me how to burp my coolant and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that before I end the video. And also I'm gonna reinstall my bumper and here it is over here if you didn't see it. But yeah, it's been there just chilling for the past few days or so, but it's about to go back on. 